this is Greg at JTech. Today we're going to be taking apart the front hub assembly of an AC compressor. Uh, very, very simple components here, and most AC compressors are going to be exactly like this with an electromagnetic clutch assembly on the board. What we're going to do is we're just going to start by taking off this retainer bolt. And then we can remove our clutch plate. We have a snap ring inside of here that needs to be taken out. The snap ring retains your pulley, which is right here. To get our pulley off so that we can get down to the coil, we're gonna use a pulley puller. This one's not on there too tight, so we can just do this one by hand. Make sure you contact the center of its hub. That way you don't damage any splines in there. Now you'd be doing this to take your pulley off for you know coil replacement. Um, you would take that front plate off in case you needed to shim for air gap or take some shims out to uh, make your air gap smaller. There we go. We also can replace pulleys if they're damaged or bent, uh, warped, any kind of way. Now that we're down here to the coil, we can get to the coil snap ring, which is right inside of here. And then you can just slide your coil on off, and then you also have a wire that is seated inside the body of the compressor right here. A coil is basically a big electromagnet that sits behind your pulley and pulls your clutch plate uh, into the electromagnetic, which engages your pulley instead of letting it free spin, um, which then in turn will turn your compressor. Now reassembly is just like taking it all back apart. We're gonna start with our coil on there and our coil snap ring. Snap rings can be a little bit of fun sometimes. Just gotta make sure you get it expanded and seated well inside the gap that it belongs in. And as you can hear back there, our illustrious teacher, Mr. Montero. <laughs> making beautiful gospel sounds for us on this blustery Friday morning and starting the uh, torch. Get your snap ring back in there. It's time to put our pulley back on. Get your pulley centered. Take your puller off. Set her down in there. Now you've got your snap ring for your pulley. Sometimes it helps to press these guys in with a little flat head, make sure they're fully seated. And then when putting your clutch plate black on, back on, you'll have some splines that you need to line up. You don't want to press these on real, real hard it'll just fall into place whenever it's lined up properly. Now this is a point where you need to take some feeler gauges and set your air gap around the clutch plate. You'll look up the spec for it depending upon the vehicle and the manufacturer of your compressor. Generally though you can run an air gap of 14 thousandths to 25 thousandths. Too tight of an air gap and you'll either burn up a clutch or you will uh, never shut off your compressor. Too loose of an air gap and you'll either be slapping the mess out of your pulley and coil whenever it engages or it just won't engage at all. Don't want to over torque that retaining bolt and there we have it. It's all back together. Thanks. This is Ben Greg with JTech. Have a good one.